Bonjour and Merry Christmas Eve. It is one rainy day. Check this out. This is my uh, whoop, whoop. this is my surveillance system at the nursery. It is getting flooded over there. This is inside the front of the main line. Now we're starting to see some water come in. This is our cars in the front yard. It's it's coming down pretty hard. Uh, so it's a rainy Merry Christmas Eve. I was hoping to get some snow this year, but uh, Laura said something like, "If the turkey has to fly through the snow, then." Santa has to pull his his sleigh through the mud. She'll explain that one later. I think that what that means is if it rains, if it snows on Thanksgiving, then it will rain on Christmas Eve. And she was right. It's one of those Italian things. I don't know where she is though. Where you at, honey? No, oh, she's in the bathroom. Buongiorno and Merry Christmas Eve to you and your family and your loved ones and everyone in your life. Merry Christmas to all, well Merry Christmas Eve to all of you. I'm gonna have a little bit of struffoli. Oh my god. So good. I mean really. Hard to beat. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, so what am I doing right now? I have no makeup on yet. Because I'm gonna, when I get ready for to go to my aunt's house, I per request for well some of you re some of you requested it but then on my style channel too requested if I could do a and get ready with me for my makeup and my outfit that I'm wearing for Christmas Eve so I plan on doing that tonight but right now man that's good truthfully but right now I need to go to well Joe and I are gonna run to shop right because I have to get just some some seafood to make my fish cakes for tonight um, the rest of the seafood, like the big shrimp and the calamari and stuff like that, my dad brings it tomorrow. He goes to like a fish place local to where he, it's local, like around the area where he lives. I don't even know what it's called, but that's where he gets all his seafood. So we're going to run out. It is raining cats and dogs. And Joe was telling you about like a little saying, it's not an old Italian, whatever he said. It's from, I heard about it from Kristen and Bob. Um, her husband said that. Her husband says, if the turkey has to walk through snow, Santa'll have to push his ride his sleigh through mud. Basically saying, if it rain, if it snows on Thanksgiving, which it did this year for us, it was um, right? Did it snow for us, babe? I think it did. I mean, not on Thanksgiving, but around Thanksgiving, then um, it'll rain on Christmas. So no white Christmas for us. I'm really bummed out, but. Tomorrow, let me check my weather forecast. Um, the weather forecast says, let's see, what's it say? It says tomorrow is supposed to be 52 pretty much all day. Well, right now it's really not that cold out, is it, babe? It's 57 degrees, but it's raining really bad. Um, and uh, I'm reading your comments, and you guys are so funny. So, so funny. Some Ra Raina? said is robbie clay equal bobby flay i was wondering i can't say but that's all i'll say um let's see i'm trying to answer your comments but like i said i can't do them on my phone so it's very very frustrating um oh that somebody asked if that was our child it's not our aiden's not our baby he is joe's cousin's baby my nephew our nephew, I should say. But your eyes are all awesome. So awesome. Someone said what I wouldn't give to be with the Vitalis for um, Christmas Eve. Well, come on down. The more the merrier. That's all I'm saying. And I'm so, it's so funny. So many of you know what saltwater taffies are. I, didn't, I guess I just thought it was, I, don't, I didn't think it was everywhere. But apparently it is. But I, I'm like, I like it that you know. I like that you know. So, anyway, we need to run to get our a few things. Oh, that's what I was going to tell you. Let's have, a, let's have a moment to chat. Someone said, what is like your traditional things, uh, Christmas Eve, like food uh, eating schedule? So, for us, Christmas Eve, we have our big meal at night. It's not lunchtime. It's, it's not even at 4 o'clock. It starts at like 8. That's usually when we have our big dinner of the day and during the day I remember my grandma and my mom and all the women in my family during the day while they're while you're cooking and prepping and things like that 
you get up really early and you make an escarole stuffed pizza and tomato pie and you have that ready around 12 o'clock and you have a slice on the table and then people can just walk in and grab a slice and go because you're not supposed to eat a full meal at you know one o'clock in the afternoon or 12 o'clock for lunch you're supposed to wait until late dinner so that's usually the tradition the tradition is you eat like picky food as we would call it uh, and it's always for as long as i can remember my grandmother always and my mother always did stuffed escarole pizza and tomato pie so that's what i'm gonna do for lunch today and then i'll bring um and then we'll have leftovers here as well to snack on tomorrow for lunch because tomorrow night is when i have my big cooking day with my family tonight we're gonna go see joe's family we do christmas eve at joe's family's house joe's aunt marie's house she does a lot of great seafood dishes and uh, i'm making fish cakes with my tartar sauce which is a recipe from my book so i can't i can't tell you the recipe for that but it is they're all pretty phenomenal so that's what i'm gonna bring there and then i made a cake i made cookies i'm missing anything else babe Laura's making one of my favorite things that I had for the first time when we were in Italy um, when, when we went for Christmas. Yeah, yeah 2009. No, my mom made it for us when we arrived in 2000, in the summer of 09. And this is a, I don't know which one you're making this, the second, but there's an escarole stuffed pizza. Now this is something that we, she's never made for Laura in the kitchen. It's very uh, Naples, right? Mm -hmm. I've it's, never made it because I don't know that people would be interested in it because it's very... It's not your traditional, there's no cheese in it involved. There is it's really though. good though. It's one of it's one of the, when I had it, I was like, whoa, this is amazing. It's escarole, pine nuts, and I don't know what else goes in it. Olives, black olives, hot pepper flakes, and if you're my mother, and salted anchovies, which is not happening. Wait, you're not putting them in? Not in this life. Oh, yeah, my mother likes, I love um, like the marinated anchovies, you know, but not the salt pack, like the salty one. I don't like those. They're hairy and salty and just not my cup of tea. Um, so I don't add them in. In fact, for her, it's an absolute must that she has to put them in when she makes it, um, when she makes this pie. Um, so I just kindly, she kindly makes me a little one just for myself. Because everybody else enjoys the anchovies because it's part, you know, it's, I don't know, it just makes it. It's a part of, of, of it, I guess. Oh, by the way, the uniform is on. The uniform is on. And everyone said, when I see Lila's uniform is on, you know some serious Italian cooking is going down. Some serious cooking of whatever kind is going down when this uniform is on. This means, this uniform means I'll be cooking all day long and it's my mother's. So it feels like she's cooking along with me today. And I can't even call her because, what time is it? I think it's like early afternoon and she's at my, um, like 8 o'clock over there. She's at Elenia's, <coughs> Elenia's parents' house, my brother's girlfriend's parents. She's celebrating Christmas Eve there. And then Christmas Day, I think they're all going over my mom's house. That is the magic right there. The flavor of the olives, the escrow, the pine nuts, the perfection. Throw that into that. Everything together is perfection. It really is. It's a flavor like there is no, it, it, it exists on its own. Yeah, it's indescribable. But, you know, there's, it, there's a. Now you gotta do the stuffing. Yeah, stuff it in there. Yeah, I got my dough from shop right. They make it there. Pretty good. Mm-hmm. Like second nature to you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All those years at the pizza place. Well, this isn't even thanks to the pizza place because... Yeah, but working with dough without putting your finger through it? I couldn't do that. This is difficult because it's, uh, you can't flour it. <clears throat> yep. If you flour it, it gets dry. You can't get dry. It's got to be coated in olive oil so that the bottom gets really crispy. So you got to try and stretch it the best you can using your hands. Using, yeah, basically just using your hands. You could try and use a rolling pin, but the thing is, it'll stick. See? Look at that. Like a machine. And my hands are like a machine. And then, my, my mother makes this in a round pan, which I usually, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It depends. This I gotta rely on my hands because I can't stretch it until it's big enough to tuck, to cover that. Gotta keep on stretching. Keep on stretching. Isn't that beautiful? It smells it really is. so good. Oh yeah. I'm gonna watch this. That's pure golden. I'm gonna watch there. this. I'm gonna show you something real cool. Okay. Pinch, pinch. Oh, you're doing a pinch and roll. Which is a little hard to do. 
That is gorgeous. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh yeah. That means it's crispy crunch. Crispy crunch. This is me being a king in my own castle here. That is, this, I'm telling you, it's my favorite thing that I had there. Favorite thing that I, favorite new experience. Let me put it that way. Favorite new experience of 2009. Yeah, it's so funny because I was thinking you guys might think it's weird that we're eating like something snack-like for lunch, but I don't know. That's just the way you're feeling it. And you just like take a bite and then you go back to cooking for the next, you know, for that night because the that the meal for that night is pretty extreme. So. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. To just be able to like grab something and eat all day. I'm going in. Mm -hmm. Aunt Mimi making a special appearance here. Yes. There's some kids running around over in the other area back there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't cuss. That's right. No, you can't. <laughs> oh no, they're adorable. Actually, they're beautiful. I love the sweaters they had on. Kelly's sweater was beautiful. Hey, Bobby. Good morning. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. So we didn't really vlog at my aunt's um, event last night because there were my brother's kids were there and they're kind of they don't you know they don't get it yet mm -hmm. give them some time they'll get it this is and by the way I saw some people questioning um, how Aiden is my nephew it's a long long story but it's his cousin I'm baby. just I'm just his uncle okay deal with it <laughs> it's, the family tree kind of got fell over into another tree way up in the branches if you know what I'm saying and somehow we ended up with family that they're their family. Family's family. And family and, they, can and you be, can't get rid of them even if you want and to. And family can be your blood relatives, as I'm sure and, and this is one of the things I want to talk to you about because I know that a lot of you out there have told have told us that um, you moved away from your family, so now your friends are your family and family is family. Family is family. It could be blood relative, distant relative, fork time, cousin removed, removed whatever. <laughs> family is family. And basically, Jamie is Joe's cousin, pretty much, and um, by marriage. I'm, I'm her step uncle. It's confusing, but we just call her his cousin. She's been his cousin since she was born. Um, in fact, Joe, you're just a few years older than her. You still remember her coming over when she was a little baby uh, at your dad's. So basically, they grew up together, Joe and, and, and Jamie, so they're cousins. And... Um, and that's their baby. Aiden is her baby. So, and Jamie's one of my best friends. Big because man. I We're was, just going to call him Big Man. Big Man. Mm -hmm. I was the matron of honor in their wedding. And they're just awesome. And so, that's that's how Aiden is our nephew. Or Big Man, as we call him. He's so sweet. He's those really big nice. eyes. Oh, I love him. So, we'll be seeing him on New Year's Eve, you know. So, they made a discovery that there's a chemical that's released in your brain whenever you touch somebody in an affectionate way. So, just like... Like that. If I just touch you, just like that. All I did was just touch you, and it's called oxytocin. And it, when I touch you, it releases in my brain, and when I, when and also in yours. Mm -hmm. It's like it's like the love chemical they call it. I've determined that my friend Mike <laughs> is addicted to this chemical, and that's why whenever I'm around, he touches me and hugs me 24 hours a day. No what? I I want you. No, to I have one. I want you to open. No, it. No, because otherwise we do, if one of us does all of them first, and then the other one does no, all of them first. everybody, you have to do all of them more than one time. Okay, you do your stocking first. No, you, you okay, first. Okay, hold on. I want you to open no, one gift first. I'm not opening. One, it's the, it's the most practical of all things I got you this year. Or Santa actually got you. I just talked to him and told him what, what you wanted. Because yours are kind of busted. These are beautiful! You like them? Oh my goodness, I love them! Like, as if Laura Vitale needs another pair of shoes. You know what I'm well, saying? sneakers I do, actually. I know, you only have like Maybe one pair. Maybe not heels, but sneakers I do. I gotta try them on. But I'm wearing your socks, so they're a bit difficult. Well, I hope they're the right size. Okay. What size are they? Seven and a half. They are perfect. All right, now you can go run. Okay. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> oh, a new <laughs> comb. Now, I don't know if I can give up my comb. My pink, my, so, guys, just, you know, I have a pink comb that I stole from Laura like 10 years ago. I know, but now and I got you a black one. 
I know half the teeth are broken out of it. I know. But I don't really care. And I still use it every single but day. But I thought you could use a new comb. It's a little, it's going to be tough. It's going to be <laughs> sentimental at this point. It's not easy. Oh, you don't like when I take your tweezers anymore? You have to use my own? <laughs> he uses my tweezers. He uses my comb. He uses my scissors. Ooh, look at that little tiny comb. It comes with a little tiny comb. My eyebrows now. I know. Well, I feel good for the front of your hair. <laughs> no, that's not funny. <laughs> Practical, right? <laughs> oh, feels so good. Oh. Indeed. Oh, so relaxing. Oh, yeah, they could do it up there, too. <laughs> what are you saying? I'm not going to have much hair in it in a little while? <laughs> I only kid. Oh, sunflower seeds. I know, you love, yeah. Joe loves weird things. Healthy snacks in here. <clears throat> wasabi peas, I'm going to crack into them now. Well, those, those are, coffee. half for you, half for me, because I, I love crazy, those. But wasabi peas when you're no. having a cup of coffee. Mm. Half for you, half for you me. You never tried it. Pistachios. I mean, you just went to the health aisle and I'm like, yo, I'm going to get you. Shelled pistachios. A lot less work. You ever walk down the road and notice what's on the side of the road anywhere you walk? Pistachio shells. Pistachio shells. Because yeah. people eat them when they're driving and they throw them out the window. Yeah, and then the last thing is so not from the oh, health side. So I kind of have an addiction to these uh, cookies and cream Hershey bars. I had the addiction for like 10 years. And then they make kisses. And, and now they make it. a small version. It's all over. And I have a sock to wear. And you have hey, a sock? Hey, Joe, what are you doing with the sock? <laughs> okay, so now... No, no your turn. You're going to do sock. No! Yes. No, all your gifts first, and then I will sit down. Per the tradition, Lara has helped me out with a new, new wardrobe. updated wardrobe for the year. <laughs> that is what we do on Christmas. Yeah. I just have to try everything on because I have such a weird size for everything. My, my jeans are an, an odd number that nobody carries. My um, shoes are wides because I have flat feet. I just, you know, my, it was, I wasn't meant to wear clothes, I guess. You were meant to be naked. I was meant to be naked on this earth. So now, I know uh, there's one thing missing out of here. I didn't get the chance to get it because you're with me the whole time. My now, there's more coming in the mail because I had to import them from Germany, and those ones wouldn't get here till after Christmas, so well, I had to find a source that I could get them before Christmas. I'm gonna go with a sugar bomb. Mm. So, as you guys know, Kinder is one of Laura's favorite things in the world. It is my favorite. These minis are the bomb. Mm hmm, mm hmm. What else we got? What else we got? That's right. Oh, no, you <laughs> didn't! Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. You got me a whole bag of sugar buns? Mm hmm. Oh my gosh! This is too good. I'm gonna have to have one from this pack, too. Just to make sure they're the same. Mm hmm. Mmm. <gasps> Look at the gold coins! Gold Oh, my mom used to do gold coins for us when we were little. It brings you good fortune. Well, maybe you'll mm -hmm. get good fortune. Mm-hmm. What is this? That was my wrapping job. That was that one was experimental. I saw something on Facebook. You know what people share videos? Look at the it shape of it. Terrible. Look, what? look at the shape I cut it in to try this. Didn't work out so well. Laura oh, had an interesting I think request I know what this, is. this year because they're very hard to find. But it's such a simple thing. So when you search for robes these days, bath robes, they're not towel material. There's and when you wear them after you get out of the shower, all the beads of water stick to the inside yeah, of your robe. You want, you want this. Yeah, you want this. It's made out of towel. Yeah. It is a bath robe, like the kind you have when you go to a, like a, a beach resort or a or hotel. Like a hotel. Yeah, this you put it on and it dries you. I'm putting this in the washer right now so I can wear it when I take a shower today. It's such an, it's like, I such, it's so logical, but I couldn't find it in any store. I had to order online. When I was little, um, I always have, in fact, when I go to my grandma's house, Oh, this is so yeah. funny. When I go to my grandma's house, she still has the one I used to wear. It has little um, lace trim around the edge, and I still use it to when I get out of the shower. In fact, next time I'll show you. But um, everyone dries themselves off in a, in a towel, in a bath robe like this in, in Italy. You can get on them over here. It's just a I know, I couldn't find any major, store, any major store. I need to get one for you too so that we can match. Look at this. Look who we have. He graces us with our, his presence his today. Presence. The one, the only. Drum roll, please. Mr. Sal. You know how well the live event did? It's incredible. He loved it because of his, all that talk about his ex-girlfriends got everybody oh, excited. Everybody commented on that. That is the one thing people commented on more than anything else. 
Wait, it was just a joke, you know? Yeah, it was a joke. Behind everything. What do you miss? What do you miss most from Italy? Well, my family and uh, of course my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> no, he says and all my ex-girlfriends. You might. You um, better watch. You might have another duplicate downstairs. of yourself out there in Italy somewhere, kid. Okay. You know, in the, uh, no. in the across in the kitchen, no. big shelf. I don't think so. Okay, this is what I need you to get. Me. Um. I need all right. So what we got going on? One, I'm cutting some calamari since the three days ago. All the way to <laughs> You've been cutting calamari for a week now. Christmas meal. Christmas meal. You see the pastiera? No, I didn't see yet. Where is it? Maybe yeah. it's in the fridge downstairs. All right, I gotta run out and go get something. Wine, right? You need wine? I will run and get it, and I will be right to back. Come on, I'm starving. Let's go. Why you choose? You, you're so you're so suave. The camera blurs out every time I point it at you. What are you trying to do? Try to get you're just getting blurrier and blurrier. Oh, there we go. Now you're in focus. What? I'm always in focus. Sure. Uh, sure. I know exactly what I'm doing. Hello? Can Look at that right there. That's pure magic right there. We never made this for Laura in the kitchen, did we? No, I made it in the No. Mmm. That's some authentic stuff right there. What do you think, Sal? That's a, that's a frittura di pesce. It's, it's a, a fr mix of calamari, cuttlefish, and shrimp. I like, I like you spreading a little filly over here. It's nice. Yeah, that's a, my, my daughter probably. I don't know where it comes from. <laughs> I know where it came from. It came from Savannah, Georgia. That's where it's from. Oh, cool. Paladine, you give it to you? Mm -hmm. That's cool. Okay, check your... Check the grill? Yeah. Let me check on the grill. Oh, look at that. That's a good flame right there. Mm. Papa Sal, cooking up a storm. You should have your Santa Claus hat on. I'm a little bit let down. I forgot my home. I wanted to bring it, but I forgot the home. Man, yeah, Santa, Santa, Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Santa Claus. It looks and smells delicious. Okay. I'm already getting a whiff over here. Is anyone getting? Um... Hey, I want a dark. She wants some dark, folks. Don't give me that stuff steamed. Are they dark enough for you there, hon? Still do. Still do. She wants some dark. She wants some dark. They, they, cook, they cooked. I cannot burn them. How's your hand doing? You burn your hand? It, it's quite uh, blistering. It's good stuff right there. Maybe we'll do a couple grilling episodes on Laura in the kitchen once we get the new backyard set up. Yeah, I hope so. Ah. What, will, you, will you join us for the outdoor grilling? You have to buy me a NASCAR suit, though. <laughs> a fire retarded NASCAR suit. A fire retarded NASCAR suit if you want him to be involved in the outdoor grilling. Cause... <laughs> Do you have a glove? What? Oh, look at that. Look at that. They're going swimming. I want the sauce. See? Hey, what are you guys saying? There's a secret. Si, si, noi faccio cucinare invece un menù dopo astuto. Yeah. Did I mention I got a new vlog camera coming in? So we don't have to worry wait. about this blurry did drum. Did I mention that you got, you're the lucky man in the world? Look at this. You know, Sal, I know. I stole your you daughter. Got, you got a shrimp parade. I stole her, you and I, apparently the whole world now is talking about how I didn't. Uh, I didn't. I asked permission, and then I went and got engaged a week later. It's okay, Joe. You. But I proved it. I proved it. Would you're, made you're, sense. You're <laughs> Got sauce going on in here. Got Laura over there. Hello. Hello. And uh, Papa Sally here with the grilling. This is Laura's salad. We got the bread. We got the whole spread. Even we got Maria. In Salvatore? Cups and utensils are by Isabella Petrangeli. <laughs> Wasn't Isabella Petrangeli supposed to get napkins earlier and she forgot? She forgot everything. Listen, they're right there. We're all fine. It's okay. We'll survive. We'll survive. What do you think, Sal? How is it? I'm ready to dig it. Wait, are the kids eating seafood? What? He's eating the calamari. I love it. Are you kidding me? This is a moment. It's, a same, it's a, exactly the same thing, except it's not fried. It's grilled. Yeah. It's exactly the same. It's... No, when you fry yeah, stuff, it turns it into magic, no matter what it is. We're too picky. I grill it. Yeah, yeah, I grill it rather than fry. Look at those pieces. This one is fried, and that one's good. It's good. It's yeah. green. We're going in the round two. What do you guys think? More shrimp. More, more shrimp, more seafood, yeah. more peeling. What'd you forget? Not oh, she's getting Italian on us here. And this will be for the second course. Oh yeah, salad. look at this, the octopus salad. Italian, Italian, this is also available on lauriainthekitchen.com along with the pasta di rinforzo. Insalata di rinforzo. Insalata di rinforzo. This will be after we eat our pasta. Mm, it's one of the things in the world. This has to be the what a lucky, What a lucky family we are.
Really good, okay? <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm savoring uh, the flavor. He eats like a, a, a grand dame. Grand dame, not grand. <laughs> Leave, 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 him alone. leave my son alone. Leave my son alone. That's all I have to hear. Leave my son alone. You just said that's all I had to hear, like in an accent. Yeah, leave my son. Alone. You having fun with your shrimp there? Leave so? my daughter alone. Leave my kids alone. If if I have to peel another shrimp, I kill myself. <laughs> Can you peel mine? No way. <laughs> Please, I. <laughs> even... The man will strangle himself with a, a shrimp uh, foot. A bloody wood foot. Dad, I have a very important question to ask you. Yeah. Why do you always look like you're offended? Huh? You always look like you're offended. I'm offended. Yeah. I'm tired, Papa. I'm just tired, and I, you know, I slept to sleep. Please, can you get out of here with that thing? Love you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We hope you had a really great Christmas. We had a really fun time. We're taking my brother and my sister with us right now to the new house. The potential They're like new a house. screensaver in the background. They're like screensavers in the background, as my dad puts it. Um, we have our septic testing today, not testing, inspection today. So we'll What's testing today? Oh, it is true. Yeah, we are having a test. It's almost right the first time. So we're taking them with us and then we're going to drop them off at home. And then I'm going to run to the mall to exchange something. That's pretty much it. I hope that you enjoyed spending the holiday with us. We tried to show as much as we could, but let me just tell you, you know what it's like when you're in the midst of just cooking for days and you've got stuff all over and our house is not the biggest house in the world, so it feels really crammed when there's stuff everywhere. But um, uh, yeah, give us a little love with that love button. Um, say bye, Isabel Biagio. Bye. bye. We'll see ya. We'll take you along with us for the ride, but I think we're gonna end this one here and we'll see the rest of it probably tomorrow. Say bye, Jujimin. Peace out, y'all. Thoughts? You beat the holiday rush, you just went to the pharmacy.